In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Muji high quality paper notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink. And as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is a Muji notebook, and I find the model name to be a little bit confusing. They call this high quality smooth paper. On here, it says high quality slim notebook grid. On the website, it's called high quality paper bind slim notebook dash horizontal line and vertical dot grid so not very well branded i would say but in terms of specs they don't list the paper weight my guess is it's around 80 or 90 gsm but again hard hard to say uh, it's made in japan there are it says 40 pages but it's 40 sheets so you get 80 pages here it is a sewn binding in um, two signatures and we have a tape gray spine here and a gray paper cover here. It has a nice texture and, and look to it. Overall, I, I do like the aesthetics of this notebook. It looks really good. The only thing I don't know about is, can the sticker come off? It can, but it looks like it's leaving behind a... Well, I don't know. Will that come off? It does come off easily, but I don't know. Is this better with that mark? I guess probably. Price-wise, this B6 slim size is 290. They do an A5 size, which is 390. Uh, very reasonable price, as you would expect from Muji. Made in Japan. Again, they're, they're 80 pages, 40 sheets. And this paper is very smooth. The design of the ruling, I actually really like. It's a six millimeter rule in like a dark gray color. And then there's a very faint dot grid. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. I really like it. They didn't go five millimeters, which would have been too small for the ruling and probably perfect for the dot grid. And they didn't go seven millimeters, which is what I like for ruling, but would have been too big for dot grid. So I like this six millimeter. I think it's a good compromise. Binding wise, the notebook does lay pretty flat. You know, you got 20 page signatures, which isn't my favorite, but it works pretty well. You know, there's not too many pages in here that are going to be resisting you in the, it, with the binding. So I, I do really like that. I think that is pretty good. The paper is pretty fountain pen friendly. It doesn't like any kind of sharp nib. The surface can be damaged and that will cause uh, bleeding and maybe a little bit of feathering. So like I have this fine Mont Blanc 149 here. That worked really well. You know, there was no bleeding that I saw. And then went to a Platinum 3776 Music Nib, which is quite a wet nib and a wide nib. And no bleeding. Now, I went for a vintage sort of semi-flexible nib, this Omas CS. And then I did a... Platinum President Fine Nib, which is quite a fine nib. And with these, we did see spotting, especially on the semi-flexible, more vintage -y nib. When I pushed on it, we really got a lot of bleeding. When I did light pressure, no bleeding there. And then on the Platinum President, the fine, that one did come through a bit. So I don't really recommend this with nibs that maybe would dig into the surface a little bit. And if we go to our paper test here, on the face of it, actually everything looks really good. I don't really see any bleeding or issues there. So that, I think, is pretty much a, a pass. Now on the back, we did have a lot more problems with the fountain pens. The Pilot Parallel pens, they bled through a bit. The Platinum BB Italic, which is a sharper italic nib, that uh, did show through in some spots. The Lamy 2000 BB nib, uh, was fine, no, and that's not a, a really a sharp nib. I mean, Persona Oblique Medium came through maybe just a little bit, and the Montegrafa Fortuna F did not come through. So that's another pretty fine nib. No issues with that. It just, I think it's really just that surface is delicate. So if you're not careful, uh, you could see some bleeding. The rest of the pens all looked great. Uh, on the back, though, we did have problems with 
gel pens. The rollerballs and fine liners had a little bit more problems and then the troublemakers all bled through. You know, performance wise, this is decent for the price of this notebook. I can't really complain uh, about that. I would not use it with rollerballs or fine liner pens. And if you stick to, you know, more smoother pens, it's pretty fountain pen friendly. And this paper does dry relatively quickly. I do think there is a coating on it, but it dries pretty quickly. It seems to absorb the ink nicely. So what are my pros and cons for the Muji high quality paper, whatever it's called, notebook? Uh, well, biggest pro, very affordable, $2.90. I like the B6 slim form factor. I think that works really nicely. I also like the uh, 40 sheets here, 80 pages. It works really well with the, the format. It, you can get it to lay flat, even though it's a 20 page signature. Stitch binding feels durable. I, I just, I like the whole look and aesthetic. It looks really good. I'm also very happy with this six millimeter rule and then very faint dot grid kind of combined. I think that's a really cool idea and it works great in, in practice. In terms of cons, the paper is for the most part fountain pen friendly. Now when it comes to cons, it's not good with rollerball pens and it's not good with uh, fine liner type pens. Also, any pen that will scratch the surface of the paper will cause it to bleed. So there's some trial and error there. Like I have some fine pens that won't scratch the surface. Others do. Edged pens like stub and italic pens tend to scratch the surface. So they're not really compatible with this. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And until next time.